Is it normal to have tenderness or pain 72 hours after lip filler? It hurts when I apply lipstick. Bottom lip is very tender to the touch. I'm still icing because of the pain. I also have a few bad bruises. Is this normal? Had the procedure done Friday morning, and it is now Monday afternoon. Thank you for your question. You submitted your question with two photos, and you're asking, is it normal to have pain and t tenderness 72 hours after undergoing lip augmentation? And you described that you have some bruises, and you've been applying ice, and you're concerned about what to do um, moving forward. Well, I can certainly share with you my opinion as to what you're experiencing based on the photos you submitted in the absence of a physical examination. A little bit of background, I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. Lip augmentation is a very popular procedure in our office and certainly I've gone through my own evolution of developing techniques that I find are the most useful and with minimal trauma to help my patients have nice looking lips and further want to continue doing these procedures because of their experience. So to begin with I would say that just by looking at your photos that I would I would conclude that more than likely your doctor did the procedure like many doctors do, which is injecting filler from multiple points from the outside so that different areas of the lip can be improved. You know, when we look at the anatomy of the lips, you, there, there is an, a desire to naturally place in the filler in certain key areas in order to get an outcome and a result. And I can tell you that it is a very standard approach to use needles to then enter the skin and place fillers. And a lot of times this is done with local anesthetic, like a block, like a dental block, to try to make the lips numb so the patient experiences minimal pain. Now that being said, it has been my preference to actually do these procedures using something called blunt cannulas. And although there is always a value in potentially using needles for, let's say, fine lines above the lip or for very specific areas that may not be reachable with the cannula, I would say that the overwhelming majority of my patients, I'm essentially placing the filler using minimal entry points and they can look pretty good immediately after with minimal, if, no, or if ever, any bruising. So that is a personal approach and a strategy that has been successful for me. In your situation, what you're experiencing certainly is consistent with a certain degree of trauma with bruising, and therefore, it is essentially something that's likely to resolve and with relatively minimal intervention. I think that supportive care using such a, something like anti-inflammatories, non-steroidals, and, and just letting the, the swelling that is causing most of the discomfort subside as the days go on. I, I think it's best for you to, of course, speak to your doctor and I'm sure that if your doctor has been doing this particular approach, they will probably be pretty familiar with this situation of swelling and bruising and tenderness. I think it is, um, it, it is, it is a reality in when, when, when this type of approach is used. It's not necessarily always that common. Not everyone gets the degree of bruising and swelling, but this is varies in, in individual by individual. So again, I, 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 without, without overstating it, I think that there is a way for you to actually consider discussing with your doctor a possible different approach in the future once this filler eventually breaks down and goes away. And I would, I, I would say don't abandon hope 
they are getting future filler because of this experience. It is important to just maintain this communication with your doctor who I am sure wants you to have a great result and probably put in a lot of time to get this result. I mean, aesthetically, I think your lips look very nice. I think it's just unfortunate that right now there's enough bruising and swelling that you feel uncomfortable. But I think it is certainly within the range of normal for what I think was the, was the approach that was used. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.